Okay, channel update. So what did I do this time around? Well, I unboxed a lot of stuff. We have the Harry Potter cassettes, which came at a record time, considering it was an international shipment. Um, we have the um, Amazon all items, which all came on time, which was a little surprise. For the movie, not so much, because usually, even if you're not a member, the movies usually show up real fast. But the NCIS Hawaii showed up in record time. And um, that just goes to show you that I guess, you know, some things work out with that. But the NCIS, NCIS Hawaii will be returned in a record amount of time due to the fact that um, it had some pretty bad scratch. Well, it wasn't widespread scratches, but it was like five or six of them. And they were like localized right near each other. I know that's probably not going to play, play right on a DVD player. So I'll just return that tomorrow or something. What's great about Amazon Returns, even if you're not a member of Prime or anything, is that you can just go to a Kohl's and stuff and they can return a few for free. Don't need to bring a box, don't need to bring nothing, just the item itself. Which it makes you wonder, well, I could just take the item back all busted and they won't know. Someone checks the item to make sure it's genuine and all that. I don't think Kohl's does that, but I think someone at Amazon does. So if someone at Amazon catches you, catches you doing that, you're in trouble. They'll probably charge you for the full price. Um, what, what else did I want to say? I did my backup today, too. I back up my channel every so often for my unboxings and stuff, mostly. I don't care about all this random stuff I talk about, like my lectures on TV shows when I watch episodes. I don't really care about that. But I back up my unboxings, and, um, and I gotta say that People need to really start doing that. It's I'm not unboxing. I'm forgive me, it's late. Well, actually, it's not really that late. It's only 11.30. Um, that might not be late for some people. Um, the, the problem with it is, is that people are not backing up any of the stuff they do. Now, people are going to say, well, why don't you just make a copy of the file when you transfer it to your computer and put it on your hard drive? I don't want to pull my hard drive out every single time I upload a video. You know how many times I'd be doing that every single day? Well, n not really every single day, but you, whenever I do an unboxing or something, too much of a pain in the ass. Um, I found a program that's been around for a long time. Multiple people use it. It's widespread. I'm not going to mention it, mainly because I don't want... Now, this might sound like I'm just trying to dodge it. The subject and all that. But um, whatever you want to call it. I don't want to mention it because I don't want to see it get shut down. Because people use it for various different purposes. Everyone has it one time. But I use this program to download all the videos off of my channel. It's very easy. The quality isn't exactly the same. It's somewhat a little worse. But who can, who can complain? When I'm done downloading everything I uploaded for... The last, let's say, trying to get this straight, the last month, I do it once a month, my file size is only 25 gigabytes. That's more than acceptable. When I was doing my walking videos in 4K, I was getting well over 100 gigs every month. And then I was running out of space. If I had continued on that path, I probably need a hard drive at least every six months. From what I'm doing now, probably once every three or four years, and that's it. I don't buy the expensive hard drives either that are solid state hard drives. I get five terabyte hard drives that are regular speeds. They're about, well, they can go from, from 90 to 115 bucks. But you don't usually find them for under 100 unless there's a deal. And that's how I um, back up my channel. Very, very important to do that, though. I can't tell you from experience, and I don't just um, back them up, I double back them up twice. So everything on my channel is put on, it's like it's like running a, one of those raid things, whatever they call it. Maybe it's not called that. But to have two hard drives is great. So if you want to show something to somebody, th th forgive me. If you want to show somebody... At your house, if they happen to come over, something that you have on YouTube, or you want to show them on the hard drive instead, you can just pull one out and not have to worry if it breaks or something happens, you drop it, it doesn't turn on anymore, because you still have that other one. 
Not many people are fortunate enough, fortunate like me to be able to do that. It's usually one hard drive or nothing. But I made my own system of copying stuff to two hard drives every time I do a backup. That way I know if something's going to go wrong or not, I'll be protected more. I don't want to buy any of those professional systems to take up space. I don't have the space for that anyway, so that <laughs> forget that. Um... You know, another thing I was thinking about lately was buying another camcorder. I don't need it, so that's why I'm not going to buy it yet. I'm not going to buy it until mine breaks. And the reason why I was thinking about that was I don't like recording to the hard drives of these camcorders because then if you try to, you know, um, sell them off or something, there's a possibility people can gain access to your information and all of that. So what I like to do is, is that I mainly like to... Uh, what's a good word for it? I like to buy ones with memory cards inside of them, right? So the one I have right now has a memory card. I think it's, I don't even remember how big it is. I haven't taken it out of the camera in like two or three years. I think it's a 64 gig sand disc or one of those brands. The reason why I don't take it out of the camcorder is because every time I take it out and put it back in, it gives me all kind of errors like crazy. And I have to keep, you know, just put back in and out, in and out. Sounds wrong, I know. And then eventually it clicks. Um, that's how I missed a lot of stuff in one of my race videos because the camera had a memory card malfunction. Um, so I like to I like to buy cameras with with memory card slots in them, and that's all too common now. Back then, forget it. You go back to when I bought this camera which was 2012 or 11. Well, there were some, but not all of them had it. Nowadays, they have tons of cameras with memory card ports, SD cards. Um, I can't do that with the other cameras I have, which are Memory Pro Stick Duo, whatever the hell it is. That's an old format Sony had that completely failed. Originally, it was in the PSP, and I guess that wasn't enough to get people to buy the format, so they got rid of it, and that was it. Do I feel bad about it in any way? No, I don't. But um, I looked at the camcorders nevertheless, and they're still really expensive. I'm saying to myself, if these companies want to compete, they have to lower their prices. You cannot sell camcorders still for $900, $1,200 um, because people have iPhones, and they think that's good enough. And you could say, why not just use my iPhone? Well, I can get a tripod. I have the mount that I could use for my iPhone. The problem what I don't like about that is, is that um, I can't, I, I tried all the cables, so I can't really transfer all the information to my computer. And using the YouTube app to upload a video is not so very pleasant. Like, this video will go fine, but when I try to upload anything of real high quality, it's, it's, it's extremely slow, because wireless internet is not efficient. It's just something you do on the go. You're not really supposed to use it for heavy projects. You're supposed to use what's called Ethernet. Get an Ethernet plug. Even a low, even a lower, lower form of Ethernet is going to be a lot better than wireless most of the time. That's my experience. Uh, what else can I say? Um, I've had a lot of fun doing this, and um, I love doing the unboxings, and that's what I'm going to be doing from now on, I'm talking about movies most of the time and radios. I think I should start making videos about radios eventually at some point because I haven't did that in a while. All right, so good luck, everyone. Just remember. Remember that um, if you want high-quality uploads or anything like that, you're going to have to, um, I mean, the, the originals that you upload, you're going to have to just directly copy it to your um, hard drives. But if you use my method and get a program and download the videos yourself, it's nearly the same thing. And um, you, you use a lot less space. All right. That's it. Bye-bye.